In New Jersey, funeral services for 10-year-old Miranda Vargas, killed last week along with a teacher when their school bus collided with a dump truck. Everyone is really devastated. We wanted to come together as a community and, and pay our respects. The kids on the bus were wearing seatbelts. New Jersey, one of only eight states that requires seatbelts on school buses, though not all require three-point shoulder belts. Today, the NTSB, looking into other fatal crashes in Maryland and Tennessee, called for every state to require three-point belts on new buses. Action on the safety recommendations issued and reiterated today constitute a crackdown, and such a crackdown is long overdue. This video from seatbelt manufacturers shows unrestrained dummies thrown through a school bus in a rollover crash, while those that are belted in remain seated. 25 million kids ride in a school bus every day. Most arrive safely, but 7,000 are injured and four to six kids die in accidents each year. Kids grow up being belted in three-point belts in cars. It's high time that they have the same safety afforded to them on school buses. The school bus industry says both lap and shoulder seat belts are available should school districts order them, adding roughly $10,000 to a bus that should last 12 years. Meanwhile, the NTSB is also urging collision avoidance braking and better bus driver oversight and background checks. We learned today the New Jersey bus driver had 14 license suspensions and eight speeding tickets. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.